Hey guys, here's this 12 volt battery for the input and there's a voltage. I'll measure the current going in to the motor and the current coming out to the bulb here. I have this set so I can adjust the timing. What I'll do, I'll just get it so that it runs the most voltage out to the bulb, most watts out. And then after that I'll adjust it so that it puts the power to the rotor. It'll cut the power going down to the output here. But by doing that I can hook up a battery and a bridge to this output coil here, this high output high voltage one. You can see that. This one here puts out about 34 volts AC. I have this here I can hook up to it. It's a old lithium battery with a bridge rectifier. I got a meter here ready to go with it. So I'll hook that up to show how I can move the power around. That's about the same. I think there's about 15 watts or so that'll go to this bulb. So I'll start it up here now. I think that's about the best it'll get for going to the bulb here. 4.4 amps or so. about where it'll be about 150 milliamps 106 volts going in about Put this back over here. Put 4.3. As things warm up, the
current goes down on the input just because of the transistors and the coils and the output goes down a bit on the output here that's why it does that you can see as I speed this up what it does power goes down to the motor the output goes down it's down to about 86 volts it goes way down actually you can see but the amount of power in that rotor has increased a lot this battery and meter This isn't how I take the power out of these motors though. This one here right away will have two more drive coils. And I'll probably have a rotor here somewhere on one of the drive coils. And I might have to put one here and one here. Just so I can get that other rotor. And then uh the exact same as this will be right here. I mean, another three more transistors here, all wired the same. Another cap. The part of this one here that goes to the base, this output from the trigger coil will go to the emitter on this one. And the one that comes from the emitter here will go to the base for the firing. There'll be another complete output just like this one, but opposite to it. Then you take your outputs. It'll be just one, one diode on each output. So two diodes. You take your negative from the pause and the positive on each coil. Like, you know, opposite. Take your negative from this output these outputs and then on your second outputs 
you connect it to the positive so they're in series and then you have your two positive negative outputs which will be an AC current and when you hook up a load to that the motor will speed up and, and it'll speed up to where it'll blow itself up that's where you go to have your secondary outputs high voltage and then you can use a transformer to make your amps after a long video I just wanted to show it out though how you can move that power around I'm not trying to show over unity here I'm just trying to show how you can get power while you're using a motor you can always have batteries being charged from these systems all you need is a thing like this here a dump load circuit can find these on eBay to hook up to your outputs. And you continuously have power. Now you can see there's plenty of torque. And it keeps charging, even though I'm pulling. I mean, both outputs have power on them still. Get them back there. There's lots of power in those motors. Way more than a Bedini motor. And that's just half the output. There'd probably be more than half of what's being produced now once I put the other two coils on. And one side have that other output that's a third output that comes off of this machine then you connect those two together I built lots of these before they usually blow up because I've never loaded them down properly and tried to test the RPMs and stuff and they blow. The RPMs will hit 10, 15,000. Thanks for watching.